today I'm going to give you a tour of our bedroom. We finally pretty much completed it. I'm still waiting on a couple things like a nightstand and a bed, but um, we have really done a lot to this room. We did uh, paint it, add some wall molding, add chandelier, chandelier. it's so pretty. So I'm gonna show you around. This is my favorite room because it has so many windows wrapping like all around this corner. Before I get started, I do wanna show you the before videos that I have of this room, just so you know what we were working with and starting with. It was pretty much just a white room. And also before we moved in, the windows were actually white um, and the building management one day, like the day before we moved in, decided to paint them black. And I was like so excited about that because painting them black made it look so much newer. Um, but because they did that, I don't have really any information on like what they used or the process. So I did want to mention that because in the before videos, you might notice that the windows look very different. So, so we will start here um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already, you can subscribe for more videos and um, you can follow me on Instagram at Pretty in the Pines. First of all, we've had this for probably a year now. We got it on Facebook Marketplace. It was this like dingy yellow color. So I painted it in a color by Faro and Ball called Shaded White. I just, it's like a very neutral off-white. And so this isn't attached to the wall or anything. It's just wide enough to where it's very, very stable. We also had this mirror in our old place. I, pretty much everything I've had, I'll tell you something's new, but this was challenging because I wanted to put it in our living room, but it is so tall that it wouldn't actually fit in our living room. Thankfully, these beams in here were not directly over the fireplace, so we added that mirror and we added these sconces that were also in our old place. And to be honest, like they're not hardwired, they're just there kind of like for decoration. This room really doesn't need that much light, but if I wanted to, I can add like a puff light up here, which we did. Um, last year and it works fine. It added a little bit of light, but they were um, over my, my desk, so they added a, a good good little bit of light. Yeah. Okay, so we added some picture frame molding on the sides just to kind of fill out the walls, make it feel just to add a little bit more character. And I actually have a whole video all about how we did this. It's literally just sticking with posters, removable, um, like double sided poster tape. So I just really love how that ended up and then the walls were a very like stark very kind of like sterile white so kind of like we, the ceiling is yeah so we went to we went to the paint store and we found white dove by Benjamin Moore and I really really love it just added made it feel so much more warm and cozy and just just homey on here I just have some perfume, some jewelry. I have little trays like scattered throughout the room where I put my jewelry on and I'll show you those. But this tray was from Anthropology. It looks very French bistro. Um, you'll also find a ton of vintage candle holders <laughs> and trays because there's some over there. I have a obsession. obsession. <laughs> I have an obsession with like going on Etsy or going to the flea market or being just really unique things to make this place feel like home. So I wanted this room to be as multifunctional as possible. We don't have a ton of square footage in New York, so you really have to just make the most of every little space. So um, in this corner, this had a big, well, there's a big radiator cover back here. Um, the radiator cover, I've seen some beautiful radiator covers. This one is not one of those. It's very just, it's just not pretty. So I found this piece of furniture. This is actually fairly new this year. Um, and it is like the perfect size to hide that. And it just kind of makes this a reading corner where I can relax, I could read, I could paint, I can just hang out. Talk with your friend the lamp over there. I told you I have a really, I have a thing for candle holders that are really old. This is my latest find from, I think this was a, from a seller on Etsy, but it's beautiful. So beautiful. Let's see what else. The thing that makes the biggest difference in this room, especially because these windows don't have any like molding or trim around. Well, we added that, but if you can tell maybe over here, 
there's literally, well, there's no trim behind it. So the windows looked very, how would you describe them? Incomplete, probably? Yeah. So the curtains really like rounded everything out and like softened it and made it just feel much more complete. Um, these are linen curtains. Um, oh, they're so beautiful, but and then I found these little uh, curtain holders that look old, but they're not. They are like this antique brass color. Um, and I just really love them. I felt like they just fit the whole room. So in this corner, I added a tiny little like clothing rack where I add, added some accessories and shoes and just clothes. This is where I try to keep like my newer items that I buy just so I don't forget about them. So I remember to wear them over and over again. Um, like this swimsuit I just bought. So cute. I found this set of books like last week and I think they're so beautiful. They're in such good shape and they were like $4 at the thrift store. So, okay, so in this corner, I wanted to, I wanted to find a place where this would fit. This is a desk that I've had for about a, a little over a year and I love it because I use it as a vanity because there are outlets back here that I can plug in my hair tools and get fully ready here because our bathroom is my bathroom is very, very small and I just needed more storage space. So I put all my hair tools in here. So it's really just made a difference. It makes like getting ready fun. fun. It does, it does. All right, I'm also trying to figure out, I have this black chair, but I also have this stool. Let me know which one you think looks better. So I personally, I think I'm leaning towards this one just cause it's taller. I don't know, I just really love it. Um, but I also think this is cute. So I'll link to both of them if you're interested. Um, I did swap out the hardware just so they would match the curtain holders. They actually look very, very similar to the curtain holders. Another thing that might actually be my favorite um, vintage Etsy purchase, it's this old marble bowl that is so cute and I love it for putting like jewelry and I just set it on top of this tray. This is the first time that we attempted wallpaper. Right. This is just a peel and stick wallpaper, so it should be fairly straightforward. Um, you're supposed to just set like six to eight inches of it up on the wall at a time and then kind of smooth it out from the center. Um, but this is what I ordered. So you can see how many I ordered. It definitely isn't. Wallpaper is kind of expensive. so. Um, it's a, it kind of changes color depending on if it's like sunny outside or cloudy outside, but it is kind of like a taupe with just very, um, like minimal flowers on it. I think it's really pretty. Up. I'm excited and I hope I like it. So we have an X-Acto knife, we have scissors, and we have a level trying to think what else we need. I think that's about it. You're supposed to make sure your wall is like smooth and clean before you get started. Um, our wall is like really, really smooth. So I think we're about ready to get started. It does peel off, but I wanted, I don't know, I kind of just wanted to put wallpaper somewhere just for fun because I've never done it so and this was a pretty cool accent wall right yeah here. so so I thought this wall would be fun to, to put behind the vanity um and it's and got a fun little pattern it does a little floral pattern so I found this on a website that um has so many wallpapers to choose from but I will say it's it was more expensive than I thought I didn't realize wallpaper was so expensive and I did not enjoy putting it up. <laughs> I know some people say it's easy, but for me, it was not easy. It was not easy at all. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is that the color that I that I see in my eyeballs is not the color that you probably see on the screen. Yeah. I see green. I see like a, a green gray taupe color. Yeah. I mean, it's like, in like, the screen, the, like in the screen that I'm looking at right now, it looks like pink. the dusty pink that it says it's supposed to be. Well, so. go up close. Show it up I, close. I did, I did. And it, does it change? No. It's, it still looks pink? Well, no, up close, actually. Come look at this. 
up close, it looks more like one of those. Okay, items. that's the color that's that the I color. see. Yeah. That's what I see all the time. Okay. We also painted those doors the same color as the wall. As well. Yeah, we painted the, so the doors color. White Dove by Benjamin Moore. Same as the walls everywhere. This is TJ's closet. I use a different closet, but um, the closets in this apartment are really deep, which is so nice. You could literally, I mean, I could like walk in, but TJ uses this. So this wall is was my favorite. It is my favorite because first of all, we added the uh, wall molding in a, like three squares, two rectangles. Um, we had the same shelf, the same brackets. We painted it the same as the wall color, but we had it in our, where we used to live, um, in our living room. Over our TV. Yeah, so I knew that I wanted to make this wall appear as tall as possible because if you look behind here, the wall actually comes out pretty far. Almost like six and, inches? Yeah, I mean. Maybe, what? It's way more than six inches. Two to foot? Yeah, but it just made the room feel shorter, so I kind of. Shorter. I disguised it with these frames and I think it just makes the wall, the whole wall appear very much taller than it is. All of these frames are pictures that I took around New York City. Um, some of them are in my Etsy shop where you can purchase them to have delivered to you, but I love like the neutrals, I love all of the details of like architecture. This door is one of my like favorites. I just think it's so beautiful. And that's actually, that's definitely in, in the Etsy shop. But, oh, it reminds me of when we first moved to New York. Just walking Colby. So cute. Colby could also use your good vibes, thoughts, prayers, because we found out that she has a tumor on her liver. Tomorrow she has like a CT scan to figure out if it's operable or not, um, but I really hope it is, but it sounded not likely, but we'll see. But she's acting very happy and sassy. Somewhat normal. And normal for now. She's not supposed to eat tomorrow before her, uh, they put her to sleep for a CT scan, so she's not going to like that. So, we'll see But we've been cuddling with her the past few days, like yeah. nonstop. This weekend was amazing. So I love all these Colby pictures. Looking for bedding, I wanted a complimentary color to these dark green curtains, um, and I saw this. How would you describe this? I would call it orange. Orange. Almost. I just think it looks so good with these curtains and the rug because there's pe there's the same color. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's the same color in this rug as the bedding. Um, and then this quilt that I put on top is my one of my favorite things I've purchased this year. It's called the Cloud Quilt. It is um, is so luxurious it's feeling. Like Colby's favorite thing it to feels like this year. a cloud. It's so yeah. fluffy. Colby loves it and Usually Colby is like right, right in the middle of this right here. Yeah, right she sits right here. Well, it also matches the uh, shams on the pillows too. Yeah, I ordered a set. One final candlestick holder. <laughs> okay, I actually think this one's my absolute favorite. Look how beautiful this is. I need to uh, secure this, but this is so beautiful. And I found it on, this is also from Etsy. There are people on Etsy who just sell some really cool things. Where did you find them? They probably buy them at thrift Street stores. Sales. Also recently picked up painting as a hobby because it's so relaxing. I'm not that good, but it's just relaxing and it's fun. I think um, you're great. Thanks. I'll show you what I did. <laughs> just know that this is like, I'm not, I'm not also, but so this one, I was inspired by a photo that I took on my phone, so it's much more detailed, but this one is less detailed because it was like inspired by another painting, but I think this one's my favorite. These are for sale, so if anybody wants them. They're no. not for sale. Not for I'm, sale? No, I want to oh, keep okay. them because right. what if one day I become like... Super famous? Yeah. How beautiful. Yeah. That's right. I clearly have like 
every time I paint, I always use like the same. I always palette, make color palette. Yeah, I always make the same colors. Anyways, I painted this one in the park last week, and now I want to start an art club where we meet in the park to paint or do whatever kind of art you want. Wouldn't that be fun? Yep, so fun. Thursdays at five. So that is the progress that we've made so far on our bedroom. It's pretty much done. Um, the only thing that I would add is I do have a new bed coming. This one we've had for years and I just feel like it's time for something new. We had that at the, uh, the house in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the one I bought is has black accents, um, and I think it's gonna look really, really nice. And then I also just have another nightstand to match this one coming. But other than that, this room is pretty much done, um, and it is cozy. One down. I love it. So if you have any questions about where anything is from, I will try and link everything possible um, in the description, but if you don't see something, feel free to let me know and I'll try to answer you in the comments um, or you can email me. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I have some other exciting videos on the way later this month that I can't wait to share. And um, just thank you. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.